The Prime Minister is accused of not taking the concerns of MP safety appropriately seriously. He called it humbug. Do you agree that it's humbug? As I said, the Prime Minister can speak for himself. Well, I mean, he's not answering any of these questions. So I'm asking you, do you think it's humbug? Do you think MPs are unsafe think? as a result of... Uh, what do you I think, think? Uh, MPs' safety is as a cause of my job grave now, concern. If you were in my job now, what would you do? I'll answer my question. Would you? Yeah, I absolutely okay, would. Well, you answer... Do you think it's a... So you do you think answer... it's, so no, it's, it's not a laughing so... matter, Mr Cummings? So is you it a matter question... of concern? Do you think it's you Labour answer... MPs or any MPs' safety is a matter of concern? Are you responsible for whipping up an atmosphere of... Uh, atmosphere of danger for MPs with a rhetoric that you and the Prime Minister are responsible for? Answer the question. <laughs> well, the, all right, let's try a different one. Will the Prime Minister be obeying the law, Mr Cummings? All governments obey the law, or they try to. So will the Prime Minister be obeying the Ben Act? What did I just say? So I could take it. Oh, that's good. So the, I take from that the Prime Minister is going to be obeying no, the... Gonna careful. Careful. Is uh, going to obey the Ben Act? So he, he's, going to be, he's going to be sending, if there's no deal by October the 17th, he'll be sending that letter to the European Council. Is that correct? We can take it from your answer. He'll explain what he's doing on the 17th, on the 19th of October when we get there. But MPs are very keen to know the answers to my question. MPs I mean, are keen to know all sorts. Well, indeed, there are democratically elected so representatives what? for whom I'm sure that you have the utmost respect, as do I. So will the Prime Minister Prime be Minister, writing that letter? The Prime Minister will make clear what he's going to do at the right time. But shouldn't, I mean, it shouldn't really be a, a matter of debate, should it? He'll, he'll be right in the letter. I don't think you understand anything about negotiations, if you think that. Well, because it doesn't really matter, does it? Because the law is the law. Well, law is the law of the land. You don't seem to know whether you're trying to answer, ask me questions or whether to interrupt all the time. All right, OK. I'll, I won't interrupt uh, in follow-up to this. Will the Prime Minister, on October the 17th, if he hasn't got a deal, be writing a letter to the European Council asking for an extension of Article 50, yes or no? You're confused about the dates. You don't even know the basics of the subject that you're asking about. All right, late October. In late October, the Prime Minister is supposed to be having to ask for an extension. Do you know what date the Benak talks about? supposed to be having to ask for an extension. Do you know what date the Benak talks about? The European Council is on October the 17th, and shortly after date, that, if there is no date, deal... What date is it the Benak? Shortly after, shortly after what that, in early October... I forget the exact date off yeah. the top of my head, but you're it doesn't matter. You know, so, you know, you know so as you, well as I do, that it is in late October, so, so let's not try and be... Another clueless journalist. Another clueless journalist? No, no, it's not a stupid question to ask whether or not the Prime Minister is obeying the law, is it, Mr Cummings? Let me ask you another question. Uh, the uh, defeat you had on the Supreme Court this week, uh, was that all part of your master plan, 11 nil, over the prorogation of Parliament? I don't have a master plan. Really? Because people say you do. Well, people say all sorts of things. <laughs> you say all sorts of things, you don't know what you're talking about. Right, so okay. everyone watching at home should know, don't watch the news. Because it's watch almost all... Is it really? Yeah. And why is that? Well, because they have people like you on asking questions and you don't even know it's the 17th of October or the 19th of October. Well, no, that's I mean, your that's job. Just very, very, very that's your job just, to know that. You don't even know that, do you? It's just very, very interesting to know just exactly whether or not the Prime Minister is going to be obeying the law. I mean, we can get into kind of, you know, one-upmanship about this, but I actually think it's really, really serious if the Prime Minister of this country is actually trifling and suggesting he might not obey the law. So you can get all funny with me about whether I know a particular date or not, but I think oh. it's really, really important whether or not the Prime Minister of this country is going to obey the law, because if he doesn't obey the law, then I might not choose to obey the law tonight. Nobody might choose to obey the I law tonight. I don't think that's the right attitude. <laughs> oh, but, you don't, but, but, you don't just exactly, watch, you don't just watch criminals and then say, oh, you're going to become a criminal, but that's, do you? It, but that's exactly what the that's, that's, that's exactly that's, the point. That's what toddlers that's do. Exactly the point. And the Prime Minister, you're talking, like, you're talking the like a toddler. The Prime Minister or there's the one who is saying <laughs> that he's not going to obey the law. So if the Prime Minister, the person who is the highest political and legal office in the land, isn't choosing to obey, is suggesting that he might not obey the law, why the hell should any of the rest of us answer me that, Mr Cummings? <laughs> or do you not have an answer? I, I, think, I think you're not a very good journalist, mate. I'm sorry. Really? Well, <laughs> I don't really care what you I, think. I care far more about the future of the country and whether or not the Prime Minister is going to obey the law. Prime so Minister me, said, repeat, is he going to obey the law or not? You've already asked that question. I and already I, said... And so is he going to write the letter? This clown, what's he like, eh? <laughs> I don't care whether you're not you're in some areas. I couldn't care less what you think of me. I'm just oh, asking a very basic question. Now. I've already said, and I don't think you can... You, you're so panicky and you're talking so, so much, you can't listen to what's being said to you. I've, I've listened to every I word said, you said, Mr I Cummings. said ten minutes ago, of course the Prime Minister will obey the law. That's what all governments do. And so he's going to That's what this government, write the letter. It has no deal. No, you're talking about the Ben Act. Mm -hmm. We'll see what we do about the Ben Act when we get to the right date. The, you don't know the date, though, do you? Do you think that it's... Sorry, do you think it's... Do you think it's... Do you think it's... Do you think that it is 
Uh, is it the 17th or the 19th? Do you think that it is? Or the 18th? Do you think, that the ben Ak- do you think you've got a way around the Ben Ak- If you're going to you're gonna do interviews, why don't you actually research what you're talking about before you come out here? Is, then you wouldn't look like such a joker. Uh, uh, right, okay. Do you think that uh, the Ben Act is a piece of law that you'll have to follow? Or do you think that there is a loophole in it? Well, there are obviously loopholes in it because the Remain lawyers are all babbling away on Twitter about the loopholes. So they've said themselves that there are loopholes. So you think you're going to be able to exploit a loophole? I didn't say that, did I?